Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today we are doing an almost full face of first impressions. So this would have been like an affordable first impressions, but there's one product that is not what I would call um, affordable brand because I really wanted to put it in this video because I just really wanted to test it out. Um, but today we just got a couple of products from Revolution and NYX and by Huda Beauty as well. So I wanted to kind of accumulate them into one video. So I already have my foundation on because I don't have a new foundation, unfortunately, and I'm using the Revolution Sun Silk, which I have been obsessed with already. This is such a good foundation how you recommend it. So we're going to go in first with the NYX Butternut Bronzer. I'm so happy that these are finally here. I recently got this on uh, Beauty Bay because they were only available on ASOS for a couple of weeks. And then now that Beauty Bay have them, they don't have the blushes, but they just have the bronzers. And I've had this for about a week and a bit now. I just haven't had a chance to film. So I have the shade Buttercup. So I think this is the first shade because again, when it comes to bronzing and stuff like that, I'm not overly confident as to what I'm doing. So this is a very, very pale shade, but I really like to have pale shades when it comes to um, my bronzers because I don't want to look like I've got streaks on my face and stuff. So they came out with quite a few shades and yeah, I'm just super excited. I hope we get the blushes soon because uh, I mean, it is the year of blushes. I have a, a pile of blushes that I need to try um, and I can only try like one blush at a time. So let, let's try this. It smells really nice. It reminds me of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers or whatever they're called. So I'm going to take a small amount, well, kind of, tap off any excess, and I'm just going to kind of blend it in. I recently tried the new P. Louise one. That was far too light for me. That was my own fault because I picked it up um, at a really, really good bundle, but I didn't really check how the shades would have worked for me. So the shade that I had gotten was basically, it looked like a setting powder for me, so I can't really use it as like a bronzer, and that's just my fault. So, I mean, I will be using it for other things in the future. Like, again, I'll probably use it as a setting powder or something because it's just too light. But when it comes to this, this is giving me a little bit of shade, which is what I want because I don't want to have a bronzer or anything that would just not do anything for me because the whole point is to give me a bit more oomph when it comes to kind of any shading. And this shade is really, really nice. I mean, again, it's probably a bit too light for me, but that's what I want. I want to actually build it up. And I've seen a couple of people review this and really like it. So it kind of, you know, NYX don't really kind of disappoint me in certain products that I use. And when it comes to their bronzers, I don't think I've ever tried their bronzer. So this is kind of like a new thing for me to try because their blushes and highlighters are stunning. So this, I've put a bit too much on my forehead, but you probably can't see it. That's fine. But this is really nice. I mean, it's given me a bit of shade and a bit of kind of bronzing. So I like that a lot. And I think it's about nine pounds nine ten pounds which is a standard price for NYX products like I don't feel like they ever go above their kind of price range which is quite good so blush we finally I'm, I'm testing the Huda Beauty what are they called blush filter liquid blush so I know that these have pretty much just come out but I've had this for a week and a bit and I got this on cult beauty because they actually managed to get it way before anyone else. I have the shade Watermelon Pop and there are about five or six shades. I'm just dropping everything. Um, they have about five or six shades. This is the one that kind of appealed to me the most because, I don't know, again, I like to use different shades of blushes. I say all the time, blah, blah, blah. Um, but let's see how this goes. It's got a very tiny doe foot. So I'm actually just going to kind of blend it on and just brush it in to see what it's like because I always like to see what it's like with a sponge or a brush oh my god this has gone on so nicely my hair is peeing me off today um that is that's just gone on like no effort and the doe foot is really tiny so you can add kind of as much as you want to or least amount as you want to 
and you buff it in just kind of straight away because I think if you leave it I don't know if it will kind of dry or stay where it is I'm pretty sure these are like a tin um lightweight not on the skin soft focus that's about it um that is super nice I like that it's giving me a bit of color it's giving me a kind of a shade that I really really like it's not pink it's not red it's kind of an in-between tone so I like that a lot that's a really really nice blush I mean recently um I did like a full face of Huda and the blushes that I have are very like hit and miss so her powder one I do like but I feel like it doesn't give me a lot of color just because it's such a pink tone and then the chubby stick that's very deep for me but I don't feel like it blends as well and then even with the cheek and lip tint um I got the shade like apricot or something and it didn't really work for me like I felt like it didn't really give me much of a punch okay so now we're going to go on to setting powder so this is the cherry bake um, loose baking powder by revolution so the last few products i have now are by revolution because i did a bit of an order because there's a palette that i will be using which i'm kind of like what so <laughs> that was my excuse like my face when i saw it um so because at the time they were doing a three for two order i was kind of like let's test out some new products so i don't even know how to open this because it's so um it's so fiddly that was a lot of faffing around but um yeah this is their cherry something baking powder and it smells really really nice I, I need to kind of not use a lot of scented products these days because of my rosacea but I was kind of like I really wanted to give this a go so you get the tiniest little um applicator sponge which I will be using for like under eyes and stuff like that what I might do is put some of this in the lid because I hate trying to like take out so much product at like continuous times so I'm just going to take some and we're just going to put it under the eyes and see how it goes I do need to try and find some new setting powders because the only one that I use at the moment is a really really old one by Revolution and it's kind of almost at the end of its kind of tether and it is um, a discontinued product so I need to find something that's really nice I know a lot of people um, love like Laura Mercier and stuff like that but I kind of want an affordable <laughs> alternative I don't really want to get anything that is crazy expensive and I know that this is probably not the best thing for me to use but it seems to be doing an okay job it doesn't help that my room is very warm right now and so I'm kind of like sweating <laughs> it's horrible um but yeah it seems to be quite fine it's good I mean it's meant to be for baking I don't really bake I just tend to set everything in because if I'm going to work I need my makeup to look good for at least 12 hours because I don't want to be looking like crap when I'm at work even though I'm pretty sure I do most of the time anyway but you know what I'm really liking this makeup so far everything is going good so the eyes and as soon as I saw this on the Revolution website, I was actually laughing because I felt like, oh, it's been a while since they've done some major, major, like, quote-unquote, copying dupes. And then I saw that they've come out with these new palettes. And this is very reminiscent of the Patrick Tarr Dimensions 2 palette. I'll put up a picture. And I know you guys probably cannot see because of my lighting is terrible. But with this, you get two cream shadows you get a bottom row of matte shades and you get a top row of shimmers and that is exactly the same as that Patrick Tarr palette and I have wanted that palette for such a long time it is one of the most beautiful looking palettes I've ever seen but I really cannot justify 65 pounds for a palette so I purchased this one for nine pounds to see if it will do anything for me so what I'm going to do is because this side there's a cream two cream shades I want to actually um try those out because I do have my Urban Decay primer but I then realized that these two shades are here so they'll probably be quite good as like a, a kind of transition so I'm probably just going to use these first so these shades do not have any <laughs> these shades do not have any names um, I am just going to kind of point and use. So I'm going to go in with this one at the top, which is a bit more of a light brown tone. And I'm going to see 
how this works. Oh, it's very melted. It's very warm <laughs> in my flat today. Um, and that's just completely just sunk it all in. So I'm just going to distribute some on both lids because that was a lot of product. So I'm just going to tap that in and hope for the best. Okay, that was very excessive. I did not mean to go that high, but I accidentally put too much product on my brush. So we are now going to go in with this kind of brownier tone here. And these are all powders. I will be using um, one of the shimmers towards the end. And I'm going to kind of tap this in so I can lock that cream shadow in because cream shadows do not work too well for me. They will literally crease. So, I mean... Another reason that I like to use the uh, Takei Primer because that helps me with longevity. Um, but this is not going to be on for very long. It's kind of just testing it out for the video. So we're just going to put this shade in to help that cream. Okay, so this is the part of the video where my everything is going to go wrong because my microphone has just died and my eyes are looking pretty insane. So I've actually decided to kind of get rid of a lot of the excess at the top of the cream product because again... I didn't realize how creamy it is and I think it is because of how warm my room is so I'm going to go in with this kind of browner tone now and I'm just going to kind of deepen up my edges because I feel like it'll be nice to kind of get some definition so we're just going to tap and blend okay you know what this palette is is pretty decent I mean I've had some kind of up and downs with Revolution over the years because they sometimes can be really really good and then sometimes they can just the quality can just be not very good um, but now we're just going to go into like maybe two shimmers to kind of complete the look so I don't want to go in with anything like too heavy because the eyes are pretty prominent and the lips are going to be quite bright <laughs> so I'm going to kind of go in I'm going to go in with this kind of like pinkier tone because it's not too heavy necessarily and let's just see how it works when it comes to quality because oh yeah again i've not tried the patrick tar one it has been on my wish list for a long time for like a really really long time and i know i should just kind of not buy excess rubbish and buy just one really good palette because there's so many youtubers out there that really like that palette and i've heard mixed things so i will see one day if like my cult beauty points kind of build up and put it towards that we'll see but um yeah i do really really want to try that palette i just <laughs> i'll get there one day so now with my inner corner i'm just going to go in with the shade just here um let me know what you kind of think of revolution and their dupes because they seem to have kind of slowed down on that significantly ooh, over the years it seems to be now, I mean, I talk about them all the time, but W7 and Technic are like the main independent brands that kind of dupe a lot of the higher end ones. And of course, I find it funny because it's silly. It's really, really silly that brands can kind of get away with it. But Revolution kind of were, you know, when they first came out, they were doing that like left, right and center. So yeah, this is a really, really nice um, palette. I will definitely be using it again. Um, that cream, those two cream ones I have to be so careful about because they are very, very creamy. And again, I think it just might be the heat, but summer is coming up and I'm just going to keep that kind of protected. So now we're going to end on the lips and this is their, I think these are like their matte, matte satin lipsticks. I can't remember what they're called, but this is in the shade CEO Brick Red. And of course it's a red shade and it's me i like to have red lips and i haven't tried a revolution um kind of bullet lipstick in a while so this is oh this is what it looks like and yeah let's just get this on perfect i mean again when it comes to bullet lipsticks they're not gonna last forever it feels really comfortable it will definitely um, transfer as soon as I eat something but it's a really nice red I mean it's not um, yeah there's no issues if I had like a liquid lipstick version of this I would be much happier but I don't think they've come out of any liquid lipsticks recently but this is my finished look and I really like everything together I felt the products have kind of blended in really nicely like that bronzer is really really stunning I can't wait to try the blush because the blush is 
do look gorgeous. This blush, the Huda blush, blush, I can't even talk. Um, without a doubt, I know it's going to be so good. I really, really enjoyed it. The um, Bakewell powder, I need to cut Bakewell. The cherry bake powder, um, again, I need to try it in kind of a more fuller look because I need to set everything down as opposed to just my under eyes. The palette is really, really good. I mean, again it will definitely kind of crease a lot when i use um cream products but as i set everything down it kind of is doing okay so far i may i might have to um see how it works like longevity wise and then yeah the lipstick pretty good so overall i'm very happy i need to um use them more often because i just i just think everything works really well together and let me know what you've picked up recently that is kind of the affordable range because there's so many things that i want to try but i just don't want to pick up things sporadically because financially i'm not going to be able to do that anymore and um, but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because the film that played Every time I get a chance to, don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there and appreciate you sitting down and listening to me ramble on. I will see you soon. Bye.